Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw in the title, this is going to be a what sold video for the week of January 7th through today, which is January 13th. Uh, first, before I get into this week's sales, I wanted to say happy birthday to my husband. Jack's birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, babe. So like last week's What Sold video, I'm going to read you the title, the full title that I put for at least most of the sales so I can give you some of the keywords for the items that sold. Also, for those of you who might be new here, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I will put a picture of the item that sold as I talk about it right here so you guys can see it. So the first sale of the week was a really great sale. It was this pair of stallion leather boots. So my title for these boots was Stallion Zorro, which Zorro was the style of these boots. Gator ankle boots, scalloped ankle detail in black, size seven and a half. These sold for $200 and I'll make 60. I sold this universal standard, like basic t-shirt. It had a really nice uh, satin trim to it on eBay. This was an eBay sale. It sold for 20 and I'll make 15. Next, this Sport Max. This is a vintage Max Mara sweater. It sold for 40 and I'll make 32. Next, a Peruvian Connection sweater sold. This was a 100% baby alpaca sweater. It sold for my full asking price on eBay of $180 and I'll make 147. Then I sold a Syracuse football crew neck. My title was Syracuse Football Ultra Cozy Vintage Style Graphic Crew Neck in Blue, size extra large. So I feel like when I make a title, there's usually like a little recipe I follow. Usually it's the brand. If it's vintage, then I put that right after it. Um, something about the item itself, like ultra cozy, maybe graphic style, and then the color as well as the size. So the brand, if it's vintage, something about it the color and then the size. That's usually like the recipe I follow for most of my titles. If I didn't already say this sweatshirt sold for 46 and I'll make 36. And this lace cami sold. This was a Frenchy vintage Y2K sheer floral lace tank top camisole in orange size medium. This sold for 20 and I'll make 16. Then I sold a Trumbull Rhodes cashmere and wool knit sweater blaze knit sweater blazer in navy size extra large it's over 40 and i'll make 32. then this ralph lauren sweater sold this is the adult size sweater that i told you i i sold this week that i found a kid's size kids version of in yesterday's video ralph lauren vintage y2k cable knit sweater in chocolate brown teal logo small uh it's over 35 and i'll make 25. Then I sold a vintage Patagonia made in USA quarter zip long sleeve top in purple size large. It sold for 28 and I'll make 20. Next, a Zara midi dress gather detail strappy back side slit size large sold for 19 and I'll make 13. Next, I sold these Bryn Walker pants. These were exciting. I found these at a regular retail store. I paid $4.99 for them and they sold within three hours of listing. I feel like the title was also, the style of the pant obviously was very important, but my title, I feel like, helped attract the right buyer so quickly. Bryn Walker Pull On 100% Linen Wide Leg Lantern Pants in Pale Pink Lagging Look, size large. Um, they sold for 60 and I'll make 48 Like I said, they sold in three hours, and I feel like the key words for these particular pants were lantern pant and lagging look. Also, 100% linen, but... So those three things I feel like really helped sell these pants, aside from the fact that they're really cute in great shape and they were size large. So I feel like these pants were just a win. <laughs> so it's a Lululemon leggings, some Lululemon. The Lululemon Speed Up Tight Full On Lux Stream in Olive Green size 10. So like I said before about Lululemon, I try not to deviate too much from what Lululemon actually called them. I'm not sure if they actually called these olive green, but that's okay. I know they are the speed up tight though in Luxstream, which is like full on Luxstream, which is one of their fabric names. These sold for 42 and I'll make 33. Then I sold this All Saints shirt, All Saints Rosa short sleeve button up camp, sh camp shirt, size small. Also All Saints has on their interior tags almost always it says what they call the garment i knew the name of this shirt the rosa short sleeve camp 
shirt because it said it on the interior tag right if i didn't say already this sold for 30 and i'll make 24. next i sold that jenny kane uh, button-up shirt from one of my previous hauls it was a linen and hemp blend i believe it sold for 75 and i'll make 64 and that was an ebay sale next i sold some north face pants the north face freedom insulated snow ski cargo pants in black size small these also north face is also a brand that puts a style number and sometimes when you use that style number you can pull up the actual name of the garment in this case these were the freedom insulated ski pants these sold for 25 and i'll make 20. next i sold a free people stella lace ruffle cami top new size large this was a recent bits find i think like Last week, I think I found this and I almost gave it to Plato's, but I didn't because it was new with tags. It sold for 25 and I'll make 20, which is much more than I would have gotten for it at Plato's. Next, I sold uh, Cool Fleece. This is also a brand that will put their style number that you can use to, on Google to find the style name. It sold for 20 and I'll make 16. And I sold these Rally Denim Workshop jeans. They are the Surrey jeans in Perfecto Wash, size 27. Surrey is the style name of these jeans. Perfecto is the wash. So I use that in my title. They sold for 33 and I'll make 24. This was an interesting find and I couldn't believe how much they went for and I can't believe it sold for this much. So this pillow was a collab between Tracy Fergus and Blue Sky Leather. I put Tracy Fergus Blue Sky Leather Decorative Lumbar Pillow in blue leather new this pillow was new with tags i found it at the bins i looked it up because one it was new with tags and two i could tell that it was made of leather and calf hair like the actual horse on here is made of calf hair so i was like okay let me just see what these go for this pillow sold for 118 dollars, and i'll make 95 so this one's really cute the title i used was vintage someone in california loves me graphic crew neck sweatshirt size 4. so this was like an infant size little crew neck it sold for 20 and i'll make 16. next i had a depop sale which is fun i had a few offers on depop this week i feel like i accepted all of them but only like one person paid this was a full price purchase on depop which is awesome like i said this band t-shirt all shall perish is the band it's sold for 35 and i'll make 29. does that happen to you guys often if you're a depop seller do you get offers and accept them and then never they're not ever paid for i feel like that used to happen to me on ebay a lot like people make offers and then don't buy the thing i don't know anyways next these cool rider athletic pants in brown size 36 30 sold rider is the name the style name for these particular cool pants they sold for 20 and i'll make 16. this funky tank top sold this was a latitude vintage city bright graphic top built-in shelf bra size large this was a repost so that's awesome i love getting things out that I've had for a while and like in last week's video I chatted with you guys about Prime Lister this is something that Prime Lister reposted speaking of if anyone has I know a handful of you clicked on my link and signed up for Prime Lister how are you liking it I would love to know if if you're liking it so far if it's helped you have you seen any results from it I would love to know in the comments below Tank Top like I said was a repost it was a full price sale that was reposted it sold for $30 and I'll make $24 Next, I sold this Patagonia Better Sweater Full Zip Vest in Heather Gray, size extra large. This sold for 30 and I'll make 24 I feel like it sold for a little bit less than it normally would have because it had a company logo embroidered on the chest right here. But like I said, it still sold for 30 and I'll make 24 Next, I sold a frame shirt. This is a frame denim times revolve Charlie button down puff sleeve top in denim, size extra small. Charlie button down was the actual style name of this shirt. I thought this was going to sell for a lot when I first found it, but I've had it for quite some time. So I'm happy to see it go. It sold for 32 and I'll make 23. Then I sold a J. Crew cashmere wrap sweater on eBay. It sold for 39 and I will make 32. I sold an Athleta Rock Ridge vest, athletic outdoor hiking vest in black. It didn't have a size tag, so I had to measure it. Um, I probably would have passed on it the next time had it not had the size tag because I feel like that was why it took a little while to sell. It's over 23 and I'll make 16. 
Then I sold some on running on cloud women's running shoe in aloe glacier size eight and a half. They sold for 36 and I'll make 28. Next, I sold this free people easy street oversized rib knit, rib knit tunic sweater in acid lime size small. This sold for 50 and I'll make 40. Then I sold a Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Seaside Crew Neck Pullover in Green Camo, size medium. Uh, I feel like Barefoot Dreams is one of those brands that I used to find it and it would sell so fast. I used to get so excited when I found it. Now it's kind of like just so-so, maybe even less than a bread and butter brand, but it sold for 23 and I'll make 16. Then I sold this super cute marine layer top. It was the Lucy Lucy short sleeve top in groovy mushroom print hemp tinsel blend size small. It sold for 38 and I'll make 28. Then I sold this Kate Spade wallet, the Kate Spade Grand Street Layton wallet wristlet in burgundy. It sold for 34 and I'll make 25. Then I sold an Oliver Spencer wool two button jacket in charcoal size 42. This sold for 36 and I'll make 26. Then I sold this vintage intro silk button up shirt. I, I literally picked this up because it was giving me like Versace vibes, very like gaudy, very like in your face. It sold for 19 and I'll make 13. That was also a repost. Then I sold this Marconda of California vintage 70s dark academia dress size 12. This was like an oversized denim dress. It sold for 19 and I'll make 13. That again was another repost that I am so happy to see out of my inventory. Next, this Beta Brand wool thumb wrap. Oh geez. Next, I sold a Beta Brand wool whole thumb, thumb hole. That's what it says. One more time. Next, a Beta Brand wool thumb hole wrap sweater in chocolate brown, size large, extra large, sold. This was a full price sale. It sold for 50 and I'll make 40. Then I sold this really cute blazer. It was the Aqua Tweed double breasted blazer in Barbie pink, size medium. It sold for 59 and I'll make 47. Then I sold a Patagonia vintage full zip fleece jacket in purple, style 25021 made in USA, size medium. It sold for 40 and I'll make 32. Patagonia also has style numbers on their fabric tag. Even the older, like 90s, Patagonia has a style number and that is very helpful information, especially for people who are searching out Patagonia to buy it used. I feel like the style number really helps sell certain pieces. Then I sold that really cute Zara puff blazer. I listed it as Zara ruffle shoulder, two button dark academia blazer in black contrast size medium. It sold for 60 and I'll make 48. Then this really cute Hot Topic dress sold. I literally bought this because of the print on it. Hot Topic mushroom tiered Peter Pan collar dress in black size large. It sold for 20 and I'll make 25. Then I had another eBay sale, this vintage Orlando Magic t-shirt sold. It sold for 22 and I'll make 16. Next, I sold this Hot Leathers vintage Y2K skull graphic tee flame sleeve size large. It sold for 20 and I'll make 16. And an Alea open back long sleeve athletic top in black size large sold for 14 and I'll make nine. Like I said in my video yesterday, I sent pretty steep discount um, offers to likers on Poshmark this week. I think from 30 up to 45. So people got some deals this week, but I'm so happy to take all of these sales. Next, I sold a pair of Birkenstocks, Birkenstock Zero Matte Shearling Wool Felt Slip-On Clogs in gray, size 43, men's 10. They sold for 20 and I'll make 16. Next, this was an exciting sale. I think this probably is one of the highest contenders I've ever had for an Eddie Bauer piece. I sold this Eddie Bauer Sun Valley down duffel coat in navy, medium tall for a hundred dollars and it, I will make 80. This was a bins find. I think this was in one of my previous hauls but I, I just couldn't leave this Eddie Bauer jacket at the bins. It was so nice and clearly somebody else thought so too. Then I sold this Eiffel Tower vintage 90 sheer mesh top in fire red lettuce hem for $28 and I'll make 22. Athleta retro plush hoodie sweatshirt in black and then I put the style number. So soft to size large, sold for 16 and I'll make 12. And second to last sale for this week so far, 
was the Burberry scarf that we found at Plato's the other day. Burberry vintage 100% cashmere Nova check tassel scarf in blush pink sold for $200 and I'll make $160. I'm so, I'm a little sad to see her go, but I'm so happy that she's going to a new home so fast too. Like I think I posted it and it sold within one day. So that was a great find. And then my last sale of the week so far was this Banana Republic Solari corduroy mini dress, long sleeve, size large. It sold for 38 and I'll make 30. I picked that up at the bins because I thought it was just so pretty. And I was like, I know Banana Republic retail is high. Like I think that, let me see. The retail on this dress, I think, yeah, $120 is what the retail on this dress was. So $38 is not a bad deal for the person that bought it. And I'm happy to take $30 for that dress, especially from the bins. So that's it for this week's sales, you guys, so far at least. <laughs> it's only 8 o'clock on Saturday morning, but right here on the screen is my gross and my net for the week. I had some pretty high high dollar sales this week, $200 sales, those Zorro boots and the Banana Republic sweater banana republic and the burberry scarf so that's awesome thank you so much to everyone who gave me feedback about the hulkin bag i can't tell you how quickly i went and ordered one after i saw all those comments like that's exactly what i was looking for i was looking for the perfect goodwill dog <laughs> because that's what i'm going to use it for in the bins and I feel like it's going to be perfect. So thank you so much to everybody who gave glowing recommendations for these Hulkin bags. I'm stoked. If you took the time to watch this video, I so appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind just hitting like on your way out, that would be awesome. See you next week, friends. Bye.